Sydney Brews of South Africa and Donaldson drive off, followed by Charles Whitcomb and then Henry Cotton. Cotton has broken record after record in this competition. He started his last round with the biggest lead ever known in the Open, after having broken the course and the championship round records and the championship record for two rounds. A huge gallery followed Cotton, who for the first time in 11 years laid the American bogey. Bruce, who finished second, left him for his last round 83 strokes to win, and in spite of a high wind, this seemed easy. But Cotton was far from well. However, he went round in 79, equaled the record of 283 for the championship, and won by five strokes. To be the Englishman to regain this cup, but I honestly would have been equally pleased if it had been uh, any other Englishman. Yeah. Not that I don't mind the American winning the cup, but I feel that our golf has been down for quite a time, perhaps because we've had less opportunity to win, but I do feel now that our golf is put back at the top again, and that's the thing that really pleases me more than anything else. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Cotton.